very low budget kind of spontaneous YouTube sensational video. No, it's not. It's my first video that I'm making here to introduce myself and kind of start, kickstart my channel. Alec is nostalgic. That is nostalgic. The name's Alec. That is very obvious. So I am not off to a good start. A brief little intro about what it's gonna be like to follow this YouTube channel. View the videos, what kind of content I'll be posting. I wanna be able to talk to people about some body positivity, some mental health stuff and awareness and how to help your friends, how to help yourself. I'm gonna definitely be awkward and talk about my life, what I do on my days off. I wanna talk to people about some different social concepts that I think are pretty shitty or pretty discussable. I'll definitely talk about dyeing my hair because I love to dye hair. Maybe do some product reviews on what's the best hair dye, how to get to a certain aesthetic like cotton candy or galaxy or muddy faded colors that are somewhat gray, somewhat cobalt blue and somewhat fruit punch in the back. No clue why that happened, but that's my hair right now. My hair is also very damaged right now. Never bleach your hair four times and never use 40 developer bleach unless you have like very healthy black hair and you need to lift. But even then, I bleached my hair six times and it's still standing, so I'm proud. That's horrible to do, never do that. Maybe if you have questions, I'll do like a Q&A video eventually. I probably will not be answering many questions because it'll probably just be my mom and I watching these videos. Hopefully, anyone who's watching will be jamming out to all the nostalgic music that I decided to kind of put into the background. More the instrumental because I didn't know if um, it would distract me. I'm already distracted, so. I think I'm confused. Maybe I'll actually get a tripod sometime and some real clothes on. I'm covered in dog hair. I've got my band t-shirt on from yesterday that I slept in and my robe, cause it's chilly out. My dogs are really looking at me just like wondering what I'm doing with my life. And that's totally understandable because I really don't know what I'm doing with my life either. So I can't expect them to. We have much more brain cognitive functioning and abilities to perceive information and hold memories and kind of function appropriately in the world than dogs do. So they're not gonna understand what it is that this like punky, 20 year old kid is doing in front of his phone, the bowl of cereal, a cookbook, a first aid kit, an Otis Bunkermeyer Tupperware container, a tape and a mason jar to act as a makeshift tripod. That's sort of what I'm working with right now. The beanie's the only thing I did to prepare for this just because it makes me more comfortable. My hair's always a shit show in the morning and I just put it on. But besides that, I didn't prepare for anything for this. I'm just wanting to be super transparent with everybody and show them who I really am. I thought about like, maybe I should definitely straighten my hair and dye it first, maybe shower even, brush my teeth, do all these things to prepare for this YouTube video. Then I thought to myself like, why should I? That nobody's perfect when they wake up in the morning and we're all special and we all have great things about ourselves even though we might not see them, so. I think it's really important that people validate that people are experiencing those doubts about themselves, but also kind of reassure them that they're not true. We're our own worst critic. Quidditch? Critics? Critics? That's a side point. I'm gonna get back to the main thesis. Uh. Uh. My life is a wreck. Try and do something for yourself once in your life. Everything falls apart. I like to kind of educate people on proper sex education. I probably sound super annoying right now, but there is no such thing as sexual education. There's health class with like two months of sex ed and they rarely ever even mention the gays. The LGBTQ community exists and it's ever expanding. Like, let me tell you, we are gayer every day and it's beautiful. I love it. I am gay. I love boys.
to kind of give you guys a little bit more information on me and my background. I'm in the process of trying to write a book. Love my dog. She's like my best friend, a special princess. Well, queen, she's Queen Elizabeth. She's a King Charles Cavalier, so it just fits. Eyes are starting to close, so I'm guessing she is about to fall asleep, right? I'm a horrible driver. Never get in the car with me, unless like you sign a waiver. Uh, I, yeah, just don't. It's not a good idea. I write poetry. <laughs> I've been in and out of the hospital for some different mental health issues that I'm like really getting a handle of and trying to make more sense of myself and that's going to be a ongoing kind of battle and just self-discovering feut and effort to succeed and other stuff but aside from that I'm into pastels and black the cool colored tones pastels cool tones I really like I don't like warm colors it's no it's it's no good for me. Other people look great with those colors on and in their hair and doing whatever they do with those colors, but I do not personally do many things with those colors. I'm not really totally out of the ordinary. I'm a little funky, but we all are a little funky sometimes. Everybody's got unique things about them. I go to Salem State University. It's a pretty cool area, very progressive, lots of liberals, lots of tattoo shops, funky little stores um, with some different essential oils and vegan friendly options and all that jazz that I live for. I'm very crunchy. I used to dance. I want this to be a journey for myself. It'll help me kind of have something meaningful to do past the time that I find fulfilling and that I can kind of speak out to wider audiences about the things I care about that I think more people should kind of be aware of or conscious of um, and get to explore themselves if they don't have the opportunities to. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. Please make sure to subscribe so you can see some of my other buffoonage and other bullshit that I do um, on my days off where I'm not working and because I quit all my jobs, my life is a wreck. But it's still, it's perfect. Everything is safe. Dogs. Dogs are great. I have two. That's like my favorite pose, by the way. I'm like really awkward. I like to do that one. Somebody told me it was F for fierce ones. And they were really pretty, so I kind of listened to them. But I just thought it meant peace slanted sideways, meant that you were aesthetic and like alternative and like totally out. and then you put it over here just because you're edgy we like that love it we do but <laughs> uh yeah i will definitely have my instagram facebook all of that other nonsense that we use to communicate with one another in my video somewhere i'll do one of the the link click things. I'll figure out how to do it later and maybe I'll be able to put it right on my finger. That'd be pretty cool, huh? So hopefully I can figure that out. I'm super kind of nervous about this because I've never made a YouTube channel before, a YouTube video or posted anything with a long period of me talking. It's just kind of been like selfies from a really cool with some filters on it and maybe a really edgy kind of hate my life caption that I made myself or took from a song lyric. Mostly the really emo whiny stuff because that's my life. So let's make some beautiful YouTube videos and be friends. This Alec is nostalgic YouTube channel. Who knows what it's gonna come? Who knows if it'll come to anything? We are gonna find out, and it'll be glorious. Let me know what you think. You less insecure You got weights in your pockets When you go to the doctors Your favorite candy's cotton That's why all your teeth are rotten